believe how many ponies showed up. I can. I mean, finding out who the Ponyville Days Pony of Ceremonies is is a pretty big deal. I didn't know Granny Smith was on the selection committee. Of course she is. Ponyville Days celebrates the founding of Ponyville, and she was right there. I'm glad the committee didn't automatically pick me, so every pony gets a chance to see how great being me actually is. Even though the festival is basically a party and the Pony of Ceremonies gets to organize the whole thing, so it would totally make sense if they did pick me. Citizens of Ponyville, this year's applicants were all exceptional, but there can only be one Ponyville Days Pony of Ceremonies. And that pony is... <gasps> Rarity! Woo! All right, Rarity! Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, Rarity. Do you know what you're going to do? Oh, I might have a few ideas. My little pony. My little pony. Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Me too. I'm glad Rarity was picked. I know she'll add a touch of elegance to the whole thing. Probably more than a touch. <clears throat> this year's Ponyville Days Festival, designed by Rarity, will feature various high-class events, such as a silent cider auction and tasting. Ooh. A Ponyville Gala in Town Square. Ah! And, of course, a Ponyville Fashion Show. Ooh. This year's Ponyville Days Festival, Pony of Ceremonies, creates shimmering couture of her own design. And the theme is... Small Town Sheep. Wow, Rarity, you really have put a lot of effort into this. I'll say. Oh, I think it's going to be magical. Uh, you really think so? Are you kidding? I can't wait! Oh, that's such a relief. But of course, I couldn't possibly do it all on my own. The festival is in three days! Pinkie Pie and I can hang lights and decorations in the town square. And I can get sweet apple acres all ready for the cider tasting. Oh, that's just perfect. And now, Twilight, if you and Fluttershy wouldn't mind helping with the fashion show... Of course. I'd be honored. I can focus on the thing I'm worried about most of all. What? what? Creating a Ponyville Days festival fantastic enough to impress... Trendle! Uh, who's Trenderhoof? What? How can you not know who Trenderhoof is? Trenderhoof is only the most amazing, handsomest travel writer to have ever traveled or written. Before Las Pegasus became an Equestria travel destination, he wrote about it. Before the culinary revolution in Trottingham, he discovered it. He knows what's going to be hot even before it's tepid. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like some pony has a little bit of a crush. Oh, Twilight. Crush doesn't even begin to describe it. He's practically divine. I can't believe he's coming! <laughs> Thank you ever so much for joining me, Twilight. I don't think I could have met Trenderhoof on my own. It's no problem, but you shouldn't be nervous about meeting him. Is that him? Do you see him? Twilight, is he there? Uh, I'm not sure. You don't suppose he's decided not to come? Twilight, I don't see him. What if he doesn't arrive? The whole festival will be a disaster! Twilight, where is he? Uh -oh. Sorry. 
Rarity, you have to get a hold of yourself. I mean, you haven't even met him yet. And I have been chosen as Pony of Ceremonies for the Ponyville Days Festival. <laughs> Please, call me Trend. And over here will be the climax of the festival, the Ponyville Days Gala. Music, dancing, and of course a locally sourced menu of delicious treats. Reminds me of the Spring Fling meets Manhattan wedding I wrote about in Gallop and Prance. Exactly! I, I can't even describe how much your work has influenced me. And finally, Sweet Apple Acres, Ponyville's core, <laughs> so to speak, where our quaint little hamlet began. Oh, breathtaking. I've heard about it, of course, but to see it in verite, to stand on the soil of a working farm, you can really feel the authenticity. Oh, yes. Uh, well, they, they really do grow apples here. Thank you, Rarity. Thank you for bringing me here. This farm is truly something special. Oh, I had planned to transform it into an elegant country inn for the festival, but now I see just how special it is au naturel. Oh, natural indeed. <laughs> Who is that? Like that. I've seen a lot in my travels, but I've never beheld such beauty. Applejack, the pony of my dreams. Rarity? Rarity! Hello? <laughs> I brought my solder tasting cup. Are you ready to go try the samples? What's the point? Rarity, what's wrong? Nothing. Is it something I said? He doesn't like me. What? He doesn't like me. Rarity, I, I can't hear what you're He doesn't like me because he has a crush on Applejack, even though I've had a crush on him ever since the beginning of time. Renderhoof doesn't like you? That's ridiculous! <laughs> oh, Spike, how could you ever know what it's like to be totally obsessed with a pony, only to find out they're obsessed with some pony else? I mean, what could Applejack possibly have that I don't? <laughs> mm. Hmm. You know, I have such respect for the work ethic of Earth ponies. Uh, gee, thanks. Granny Smith always said, pick an apple a day and keep trouble away. How many varieties of apples do you think there are? Uh, on the farm or in all of Equestria, because... I once had an apple so rare, they thought it was extinct. I ate four of them. Is that a fact? That's my thing. I take the mundane, the simple, the unappreciated, and I make it relatable. Well, I hope you can relate to Ponyville. Me too. But enough about me. I want to know about you. What do apples mean to Applejack? Look, I'm glad you're interested in Ponyville and all, but I'm kind of busy with my chores. And if I can't get them done, there won't be a Ponyville Days Festival for you to write about. Well, that will never do. Rarity, what are you wearing? 
What? This old thing? Aren't you too busy planning the festival to keep making new outfits for it? I am. But the thought of hauling apples inspired me, and I just couldn't stop myself. Really? If there's one thing I love, it's hauling apples. I'm growing fond of it myself. Maybe you two should try it sometime. I'm feeling a tad inspired. Without farm life, there'd be such disparity. These thoughts I think with great clarity. Apples high to the sky. She's the one of my eye. That fruit hauling pony named Applejack. <laughs> Rarity, why do you want to plow a field? Is it me or could this use a splash of color? And maybe a wash? Don't we need to check on the gala decorations? Yes, yes, of course. But Trend obviously has a thing for farm life. If I can't convince him that I'm just as much of a farm hoof as Applejack, I'll never get him interested in the festival. The festival. Right. And I do appreciate your help ever so much. I couldn't do a thing without you, Spiky Poo. Well, that's what friends are for. Right. So, come on, Ugh. farm thing. <sighs> oh, how does Applejack do it? Well, it would help if the harness was on right. What are you doing? I am simply lending a hoof for the chores, which I love doing ever so much. Well, if you're still interested after the festival, I can teach you all about it. But right now, I need to get the plowing done, if you don't mind. Not at all. <gasps> she makes it look so easy. I know. Isn't she fantastic? Hoo! <laughs> <laughs> Really don't see what the fuss is all about. Now, Rarity, you be careful. If you don't get the bucking just right, you could sprain a hoof. I am perfectly familiar with the apple bucking process, thank you very much. But while you seem to rely on raw power, I believe a certain amount of style is required. It's really more of a dance, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, your way is definitely long on style. Thank you. Now, if you'll all excuse me, I have some more chores to do. Inside! Rarity, can I ask you something? Oh, why, Trend, you can ask me anything. I've been meaning to ask for a while, and frankly, I'm sort of embarrassed. Rarity? Do you think Applejack will be my date for the festival? Why don't you go ask her yourself? <laughs> well, that was close. If you've come to apologize, there's really no need. What are you talking about? Let's dispense with the charade, shall we? Listen, I know you really want Trent to like you. And he does, despite some pony's best efforts. I swear I don't know why he's paying so much attention to me. And I don't know any pony who's that interested in farming. Not even me. Well, maybe it's time Trent met a real country pony. Shouldn't you be working on the festival instead of coming up with new ways to impress Trent? Oh, I'm sure you'd love that. Well, I have a new vision for the festival. And it's gonna be more country than the whole Apple family put together! Um, isn't it a little late to be changing the theme? Applejack, what's going on? I'm too scared to guess. Firstly, I just want to thank you all for coming. And second, I know y'all will all adore my new family. Fame. Simple ways. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, quite so funny. Rarity, that is the silliest get-up I have ever seen. It is a little funny. <laughs> funny? <laughs> Rarity, you aren't serious, are you? Well, of course I'm serious. <clears throat> Why wouldn't I be? Because you would never dress like that. You like fashion and high society and fancy things. And I can like plowing fields and hauling apples just as much. But you don't. How do you know what I like? Because I know you. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think. And I suppose it's just a coincidence that Trenderhoof seems so interested in country life, too? I don't know what you were getting at. Well, then I guess I'll just have to show you. Be my guest. Now, if you all will excuse me, I have a hoot and nanny of a festival to put on. To be a model in the Simple Ways fashion show, you might think simple means less is more. Well, that just ain't so. If you want to be real simple, mower is mower. Now, y'all go off and make yourselves look just like that. Our next model for the fashion show. Um, Apple Jewel? Who the hey is that? A joke? Why, Rarity, whatever would make you think I was joking? Because you would never wear an ensemble like that. You like plowing fields and hauling apples. And I can like fashion just as much. But you don't. Well, maybe you do not know me as well as you think. Fine, but I got a whole festival to plan, so if you're going to start modeling, just get on with it. Life is a festival, and you should celebrate it by looking just like me, because I'm a trend-setting fashionista. You're a trend-setting fashionista? Why, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever... I mean, good for you. I, on the other hoof, couldn't care less how I look, long as I get the chores done. Oh! Is that so? Yes, indeedy doodle. <gasps> Not me. My mane needs to be perfectly quaffed at all times. Well, my mane is full of dust and split ends. My hooves are so polished you can see your reflection in them. My hooves are cracked and dry from working in the fields. I'm so fashion forward. I wear droopy drawers. I smell like rosebuds. I love being covered in mud. Goodness, your couture. Oh, bad. Will some pony bring me a towel to wipe this repulsive filth from my hooves? There's the rarity I know. Oh. Jack, I'm sorry I said all those things. You're a true friend who probably knows me better than I know myself. I don't know what I was thinking wearing this ridiculous outfit. I kind of know how you feel. Oh, but you were just trying to help me see how silly I was being. And you were right. <sighs> Besides, that gown looks just gorgeous on you. I wish I hadn't ruined it. Thanks. It's nice, ain't it? It's magnificent. Wherever did you get it? Oh, it's a... Uh... One of yours. At least three gallons of boiling water and one ounce of detergent. Start! <clears throat> I'm moving to Ponyville. Being the most interesting pony in Equestria is exhausting. I want to leave my exotic, exciting life behind and live on a farm. What? 
Well, that's real nice, but I sure hope you weren't thinking of Sweet Apple Acres. Oh. Uh, look, you're a fine pony, but, uh, well, I'm a... I think what Applejack is trying to say is that there's something unappealing about a pony who changed themselves so much just to impress some pony else. If some pony doesn't like you for who you are, it's their loss. Well, this is awkward. Not at all. In fact, I think I know just how you feel. What do you think, Rarity? Is it too late to go back to small town chic? Not if I can help it. Organizing the Ponyville Day celebration was one of the hardest things I have ever done. But I learned an important lesson. Real friends will like you for who you are. And changing yourself to impress them is no way to make new ones. And when you're as fabulous as I am, it's practically a crime.